Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. I just wanted to do a quick little video um, of a junk journal embellishment uh, using book pages. Um, I came across this, well, it's from, it was my father-in-law's, um, and he's got it dated in here, uh, February 3rd, 1956, um, Arima, so Trinidad. And it was falling apart when I found it, when I got it. So what I am making with it, um, these pages, unlike, you know, you know how some dictionary pages are very thin tissue paper type deal? These are not. These are somewhat thick. They're not the tissue papery. And they're quite brittle actually too. With just with age. So what I am doing with them is I'm taking three of them and just using a glue stick on the center portion right, the next page. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. And so once it's glued, some of these I am folding like this and then down like this little envelope type. And some I am just folding up once to make a pocket like this. And then what I have done with them, magic of the internet, is um, I'm stitching around them. You see that well? So I've just gone around using straight stitch, zigzag stitch, got a little pocket. This one I forgot to glue the layers here so I can just do that but it's um see that it feels almost like cardboard now it's quite stiff and there's the little pouch one again just sew it up and around and it's got the fold so I've done a bunch of those and this one was the first one I did I glued, oops, come on, focus, there we go. Glued the rows to the front, just like that. So it's not really a closure, but the, you know, in a book, whether I glue it down on a page or just clip it to the side, the, the book, the, the journal will keep it closed. And I inked the edges on these, on this one, so you can see the difference. Um, they're quite yellowed with age already, but you know, the top and bottom edges are not so. And uh, one cool thing going through this really old dictionary that I came across, and I was, I, it was new to me, so it might be new to you as well. I mean, we've all seen air letter envelopes like this, but this is the actual letter. Um, it's got, let's cut writing on it here. You see that? It's like it was putting the typewriter like this somehow. And then it's folded up. And that's your letter when you send that off. I thought that was really cool. Um, Airmail, 10 cents. That's from the US. Let me check the date on this. 1958. 1958. So that's older than I am by almost 10 years. So I thought that was cool. I thought I would share with you and I um, don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'm just, just keeping them there. Kind of cool. Keep it tucked in there. But as you can see, I've got a lot of these pages. So 
I'll be making a bunch more of those. And I'm sure you've seen them you know, a million times, different variations. I've made stuff like this, but not, not this size page and not this aged. I like the way those turned out. So oh, this camera is going to be the death of me. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.